Oh, the doctor says I should be off it for, for, for certain months. Wow, Christian. Come on, let's enjoy sex. Once you are married to your spouse, the Lord has given you the ability to do it as many times as possible. Come on. People might be thinking, what's she talking about? Why must you mention sex? Yes. During our own days, our grandmothers, our mothers and fathers, you dare not talk about sex. Even if you talk about it, you're talking nonsense. So it's not exposed. There are so many things that we are affected just because of our background concerning sex. And I'm so happy you are here today. Today is another day we are going to deal with another case study of problems facing Christians every day. Paraventure, this is your first time of coming to this channel. My name is Bemisola Oluwa Yimeka, and by special grace of God, I'm the host of this particular channel, whereby we bring problems that are facing Christians every day, and they want to shy away from it. There are so many topics in Christendom that we don't want to discuss at all, just because we are so spiritual. For the fact that you are a pastor, you are an evangelist, you are the leader of a particular group, does not mean we must not deal with certain topics that is affecting our homes. One of them is sex. And that is exactly the case study for today by special grace of God. Today, we have another case study like we normally do, that we always bring case study in a week and the following week will be our discussion time when we have our interactive session. And I'm very sure you will surely enjoy the case study of this brother, because I'm very sure by special grace of God, you would like to encourage him and give him advice. Because I know you have good experience. Yes, we need to talk about sex. Because you realize that a lot of this is affecting homes right away. A lot of homes are being torn apart just because of so many complaints coming from the spouse. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh, I need to do 41 days fasting and prayer. No touching. Oh, I, I'm having a headache. Oh, you know, I just came back from work. Oh, my back is aching me. Oh, the doctor says I should be off it for, for, for certain months. Wow, Christian, come on, let's enjoy sex. Once you are married to your spouse, the Lord has given you the ability to do it as many times as possible. Come on. I enjoy sex with my husband so many times. Every, every news and corner in my house, we already sample it. I know you're laughing right now. Yeah, that should be it. But don't let me talk about that now. Now we want us to quickly go to the case study so that we'll listen to that particular man's case study so that we'll be able to help. And I really want you to prayerfully go along as I bring to you the case study of today. Let us go there. My name is Benjamin. I gave my life to the Lord 21 years ago. I got married to the bone of my bone. I always thank God for His grace for allowing me to receive mercy in the type of woman the Lord gave me. The Lord blessed us with three boys and a girl. We love all of our children and we brought them up in the way of the Lord. My problem started with my wife when I realized she's no more interested in us having sex like before. I was denied sex for almost three months straight. It is either she complains about a headache or she is tired or she wants to start waiting on the Lord the next day. I took time to sit her down lovingly to ask her what the problem is, but she claimed everything was great. Before now, I was always the demanding type. 
She did not have a lot of flair for sex the way I do. She did her best early on in our marriage to match up to my appetite, but now she does not care. I have tried to spice things up, but nothing. I don't want the devil to lure me into a former life I have sworn not to return to. I have prayed about this, but it seems it's becoming unbearable. Please help me. How can I make her want to have sex with me? It is really affecting my relationship with her. I love her so much, but she can't take sex out of this union. Can she? What, what should I do? Welcome back. How can we deal with this case study? This is a particular topic Christians don't want to talk about because they believe that sex is something not to be discussed. When you're married as Christian couple, do you enjoy sex in your home? Do you give excuses? Do you even know how to impress your partner? Maybe since you got married, you don't even care about it again. You're so careless with your dressing. You're so careless in so many things. You are no more enticing your husband again. You are no more enticing your wife. Come on, let's wake up. It is time to wake up because our Christian life needs to be very, very strong. Yes, sex can give you energy. It gives wisdom. It gives understanding. When you have good sex within you, things will work wonderfully in the home. Your children will be a testimony. People who come into your house will know that the Lord is mighty in your home because two are better than one. The Bible says two will kill 10,000 and one will kill only 1,000. Constant sex will give you more joy in your home if only you have a good side to it. What are the advice that you have for the brother? The brother is having a lot of problems with the wife right now. You know, it's always women that always bring problems all the time, but decided to pick a man's case study whereby we are going to help him. We need to help him out of this dilemma. I know it's not the only one that has been affected by this type of thing. A lot of people in Christian homes, sex has been a taboo. Sex has been a no-go area. Some people even have schedule for sex. They have their timetable. I'm here to tell you the truth. The truth that Christian hates to talk about, sex is good. Before you go, don't forget that the next interactive session will be February 7th by special grace of God. And we are not meeting on Zoom. We are meeting on Facebook Live and also YouTube Live. And I'm very sure you, will, you don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss that because this topic is very, very sensitive and we need to dig it down. So, Nigerian time will be 9 p.m. as usual. The UK will be 8 p.m. and also USA Eastern time will be 3 p.m. Make sure you don't miss it. And please share this message to as many people as possible because we don't want to keep it to ourselves. We want as many people as possible to be liberated. We are Christian and we need to make heaven together, not wallowing in our problem. God bless you. Continue to read your Bible. Continue to focus more on the Lord and do the things of the law. And don't forget to share. And if you have not subscribed, this is the time to subscribe and press the notification button. So anytime we upload any new film or we are live, you will surely know, be notified. God bless you as I see you. Cheers.